What's up, people? I'm back. So, um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about fertilizers. So, um, I'm an organic gardener, and I'm just choosing a couple. Not not that I'm buying these or endorsing these. I'm just showing you guys uh, what you're looking for. So, when you're looking for a organic fertilizer, or not, if you're trying to do organic gardening, you want to look for a fertilizer that says organic. Okay, on it. I don't know how organic these guys are or if they're just using that title. Oh, there they go. They're, they're, they're certified. So you want to look for that. Or it might say fit for organic gardening. If you're, or to say stuff like that. That's if you are doing organic gardening. Okay. But what I want to talk to you guys about is the major things you want to look for in a fertilizer. When you're looking at fertilizers, one thing you're going to do is you're going to look for the analysis and you're going to see these three numbers. That 342, that is the what they call the NPK rating. So NPK means N is nitrogen, P is phosphorus, and the K is um, potassium. Okay, so those are your three major, what they call macro nutrients that all plants need to grow. Your nitrogen is what gives you your green, uh, nice, healthy leaves and your new growth. Uh, so when you see your plants starting to get yellowing and stuff like that, that's probably because they're not getting enough nitrogen. Um, your P is for your root growth, uh, but it also helps with the flowering and the buds and stuff like that. So when it's time for things like tomatoes to start putting forth flowers and fruit, you want to make sure they're getting enough uh, potassium. And your K, um, I'm, I'm sorry, you want to make sure they're getting phosphorus good. And then your K is your potassium. That's going to be like your overall, uh, I like to call it, best way to put it is your plant's immune system that builds your plant's immune system, is disease resistance, its overall hardiness to handle the different types of weather that may come, the rains and the suns and extreme highs and lows. Um, that's what your um, potassium is going to help. That's the K. All right. So this says this is giving you a 3, 4K, and it's always going to be in this order, NPK order. Okay. Now, normally, organic fertilizers are always going to give you a smaller number. So let me give you an example of a non-organic non-organic miracle Grow. if you look at the numbers 24816 so that's always NPK right so 24 um, nitrogen 8 phosphorus 16 potassium all right so your and this is what they call water soluble so if you see something that says water soluble that means you do dissolve it in water and you water it directly onto the plants and the plants can get most of that. They suck up most of that immediately. Ones like uh, this one that we're showing which is basically pellets and it's dry. It actually takes time. You can see here it says feeds plants up to two months. That's because it actually takes time for that uh, for that uh, stuff to break down okay so what I recommend is you always want a dry slow release and you want a liquid that you can give immediate okay and so um, when I do my gardening I do a uh, organic slow release blend and I'll show you guys that one when I get to my garden. 
I'll show you my blend that I use. I use an organic blend of slow release and throughout the season I also use a, a liquid fertilizer for immediate benefits that I would sometimes do every two weeks especially for my plants like uh, my heavy feeders what they call them like uh, your peppers your tomatoes and things of that nature so hopefully I broke that uh, down for you guys and so you guys understand uh, a little bit better what these things are I'm again every time you're looking on here every time you see those numbers 1257 you know that that's NPK and you can tell by how high it is you already know this is not organic all right just because of the the, the how high the numbers are you know what I'm saying so if you if you're looking for organics then you're going to, it's going to say organic somewhere on here. It's going to say OMRI listed, or it's going to say for use in organic gardening. Okay. Um, hey guys, I wanted to just tell you one more thing. Look, don't be fooled just because organic things only give you small numbers. What organic fertilizers do is they're there to feed the plants, but they're also there to feed your soil to make your soil more um, fertile. So they put in other bacterias and everything like that to help you out. So don't be dissuaded by the small numbers, okay? But also, uh, so organic f uh, gardening is always worried more about your soil um, as well as feeding the plants. Whereas when you're using non-organics, most times they're just there to quickly feed your plants and then they're not but not depositing anything in your overall soil health I'll show you guys what my soil health looks like um, you know from years of using organic uh, fertilizers like this like the um, coffee grounds and like your natural um, compost okay let me just show you really quickly what I use I use garden tone as my base 344 then I use blood meal but I, I normally use the blood meal that's in this that's the same uh, brand I don't see them here I don't see them here so I'm just going to show you guys I use the nature's I mean I'm just showing you a blood meal which is a nitrogen uh, product. If you can look here, it shows you that the blood meal is nitrogen level is 12. And then I use a bone meal. Don't get them mixed up. Bone meal gives you both nitrogen and uh, phosphorus your N and your P okay so for you guys starting and I just really I literally I mix those all three together and it is what it is okay now if you're gonna do organic gardening remember what I said it has to say OMRI or it says for use in uh, for organic gardening don't be fooled by people like this tomato and vegetable purely organic right and I'm looking at it like 888 like yo that would be awesome but when you come down here it says let me see if I can zoom in here not for use in organic crop and organic food production so the purely organic is actually just the name of the company not the actual saying that that product is organic all right so don't worry about things like this that say um, natural. That's just, you know, those words they love to use. Okay? What I recommend for you is to get a good base and bone meal, blood meal, and you can also add um, garden lime. I'm actually going to pick this up. Um, 
because this adds things like the other nutrients that your stuff needs calcium magnesium and all that stuff like that okay so I'm actually gonna pick up some of this uh, this is gonna help with my container gardening if you are if you're doing container gardening you definitely want to get some garden line all right but what I would you could they have other options here like these guys natural and organic right so he's used for he's a 555 so that's a good base you can start with a 555 and then go with your blood meal and bone meal or something like that all right hope that's good information for you guys um, if you're not doing organic what I would recommend is do a slow release non-organic like Osmocote this is a slow release so it's not gonna burn your stuff but watch the numbers right look at your numbers whoa right especially if you're doing if you're gonna be non-organic and you're doing container gardening you definitely something like this and then get you a liquid fertilizer that's not too crazy I would probably actually do this and then get a um, organic liquid fertilizer just because these liquid fertilizers can just be a little too heavy um, and this stuff comes in really quickly to your plants and you can burn your plants out so go with this as your base and then use a organic liquid fertilizer that you can give every couple weeks all right people hope you learned something peace out